Ralph. Hi, my name is Ralph Parker, and I want to tell you a little bit about my one and only child. At the age of 17, I gave birth to a baby boy. His name is Thomas Anthony Butler. I was a statistic. I was raised in the projects. I was a young mother on welfare. But I decided that wasn't good enough for me. So I fought my way through high school, pregnant. My high school was a castle, so we had flights of stairs to go up. I did it. People looked at me strange, young lady, pregnant, statistic from the ghetto. She doesn't have a chance, they thought. Well, I did have a chance. I graduated high school. I went to night school. I had my son. I had my family. Everyone helped me raise my son. I noticed early that my son was a bright young boy. And as a joke one day, I decided to teach him his address, his phone number, things like that, never expecting at one year old that he would remember this. To my surprise, he told Grandma as he was riding with her in the car one day, turn left, turn right, we're going home. And she goes, how do you know? He says, I know my address, proudly. We were all shocked. Something I always was adamant about being a young mother and a single parent was I didn't want my son to be a follower. I don't know if any of you all know what that means, but as a young man living in a ghetto, you're up against a lot of obstacles. You're up against gangs. You're pressured into this. You're peer pressured into that. I did not want that for my son. So my motto to him was always be a leader, never a follower. And what I meant by that was to follow your own mind. Don't let anyone else manipulate you or con you into doing something that you don't want to do. Be the leader. So as a result, one day, him and his little playmates at about six years old came running home. And I'm looking like, what's the matter? Well, we just had a fight on the playground. And I said, who started? He said, they did. I said, who finished it? He said, I did. <laughs> now, I don't condone violence. That's not the point I'm trying to make. What I want you to understand is, for me, being a leader and not a follower, teaching that to my son simply means do what you think is right. Do not let anyone else coerce you into doing anything that isn't right. My son graduated from Northwestern University in Chicago with a PhD in business. He is also a long distance runner. He lifts weights. He loves his mother and his family. He has a son and a daughter. My son and I are best friends, and there's a special bond when you have an only child, because that's what he is, an only child. He never had anyone to have his back except mom. And as a young man, that was unacceptable. But we made do, and he turned out to be a fine young man and made me very, very proud of him. He's become a millionaire twice before 30. And I'm not proud of him because he's a millionaire. I'm proud of him because he follows morals, guidelines, and he loves people. Thank you. Pictures. <laughs>